Today I'm going to show you a couple of, of examples on how to factorise an expression in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So these type of expressions in this form here go into double brackets. And the ones that we're looking at today will be when the number before x squared is equal to 1. So a is equal to 1. So these type of quadratic expressions are the easiest type to put into double brackets. So let's look at example 1 then. So we need to factorise x squared plus 3x minus 10. So since it takes this form up here, we know it's going to go into double bracket. Now since we have x squared here, the first terms must multiply to give us x squared. So you can put an x here and an x here. All we need to do next is work out what we put inside the bracket for the numbers. And the way you do this is to look at your last number in your expression which is minus 10. And we know that the numbers in the brackets, the last numbers in each bracket multiply to give us minus 10. So I'm just going to write down all the factors of minus 10 on the side of my page. So the factors of minus 10 could be plus 1 times minus 10. Again you could have the same pair of different signs so you could have minus 1 times plus 10 and you can also have 2 times minus 5 and there's one more pair you can also have minus 2 times plus 5. So the next thing you do then is we need to now decide which one of these pairs give us the middle term plus 3. So if we ignore the multiplication signs, which one of these four sums will give us plus 3? Well plus 1 take away 10, that will give us minus 9. Minus 1 plus 10 is plus 9. 2 take away 5 is minus 3 and minus 2 plus 5 is plus 3. So as you can see the pair that we need is the final pair because this, this gives us 3 which is the number before x. So you can fill in minus 2 and plus 5 inside the brackets. It doesn't matter which way around you put these numbers as both ways will give you the same answer. So let's move on to example 2. So this time we need to factorise x squared minus 9x plus 8. Um, so again we know it's a double bracket expression uh, because it takes this form up here where a is equal to 1. So if we write down our two brackets, again we've got x squared here so we'll have to put an x and an x there to make it x squared. So the next thing you do is look at the number at the end which is plus 8 and write down all your factor pairs of plus 8. So be careful on this one because it's positive 8 so the pairs of numbers must have the same sign to give us plus 8. So we could have plus 1 times plus 8 or it could be minus 1 times minus 8. Remember two negatives make a positive. Uh, the other pair could be plus 2 times plus 4 and the final pair is minus 2 times minus 4. So next thing we need to do is decide which of these pairs will give us the middle number which is minus 9. So that's the number before x. So if we ignore the multiplication signs which one of these pairs of factors will give us minus 9 if we add or take them? So 1 add 8 is 9. Minus 1 take away 8 will be minus 9. So it's looking like this one here, so there's no need to work out the other two. So again, just fill in these pairs of numbers so we can put minus 1 and minus 8. Uh, let's do one more example then. So this time let's fa factorise x squared plus. 5x minus 6. So again, 
we know it takes the form up here so it's a double bracket expression so if you fill in the first terms again x and x so this time we have minus 6 at the end so I write down all the numbers which multiply to give minus 6 so we could have plus 1 times minus 6 minus 1 times plus 6 uh, minus 2 times plus 3 or we could have plus 2 times minus 3 so again we've got four pairs of numbers which multiply to give us minus 6 so all we need to do next is work out which pair gives us the number before x which, which is plus 5 so which ones add to give plus 5 so let's work these out so plus 1 take away 6 is minus 5 minus 1 add 6 is positive 5 so this is the pair that we need so if you fill in minus 1 and plus 6